What's up, everybody? Yep, I'm hitting you with a double whammy today. Um, something happened. In case you all didn't watch the previous video that I literally just uploaded today, um, I was denied a Tuna Evo for the fourth year. So that same day, which I got that notification Sunday. So I was laying down when I seen it. So I uh I said screw it and I apply for slammed enough. Four days later, I get a notification. Instantly, I thought that it was a denial. Oh, Cause you know, after getting denied so many times from these bigger shows, you sort of kind of get used to that. So I'm like, okay, here we go with the denial letter. Let's see what's going on. So I open it up. It was the complete opposite. <laughs> the complete opposite. It said that it was approved. Um, so I'm all set for uh, Slammed Enough in Chicago. It's going to be at, I think it's the Lake County Fairgrounds. It's going to be over there. So if you want to come and see the Lancer uh, up close and personal, that's where it's going to be. Um, yeah, so that, that uh, I was extremely happy when I saw that because it, it's, I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't expecting that at all. So shout out to Slammed Enough for even giving me a, a, a shot. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I don't care about winning any trophies. I don't want none of that. Um, to me, that's like a bonus. So I'm more interested in, in the culture and just the exposure. I don't really care about trophies. If I win, cool. If not, cool too. But today, well actually yesterday, my extension rod came in for my gimbal. So I'm going to go pick that up. And I'm going to shoot some stuff with that um, for the Tuna Evolution video. I've already shot the stuff with the uh, the Lancer. Now, I wanted to put a couple Subaru shots in there as well. Um, I'm not going to get any rollers because I'm not doing it like a, a hardcore feature film. I'm not doing that. I'm just putting together like a little intro for the main, uh, what you call it, the main video. Um, I'm not going to be at Tuna Evo that long. I probably I think the show starts at 12. I'll probably be there to maybe 3 o'clock. No later than 4 because I have another piece of equipment that I have to go pick up. And I have to be at that store before they close, which is at 5 o'clock. But even so, I wasn't going to stay at uh, Tuna Evolution all day anyway. I just wasn't. So I was just going to go get my footage, talk to a few people, head out. That's it. That's all. Um, now I have to baby the Lancer. I'm not driving that car anymore until that show because to me it's a big deal that's a big show for me so i'm gonna keep the car in the garage keep it clean keep it you know up to spec and um yeah let's go pick up this extension rod and get some footage so let's get it all right those cinematics that you saw in the last video that i uploaded today was all filmed with this the thing that sucks about this is this is the cell phone adapter. There's one that com it comes with the uh, iPhone adapter as well. This is for the uh, Android. You have to hold it like you're holding a, a PlayStation or an Xbox controller, and I don't like that. And plus, the stick to control the gimbal is touch screen, and I don't like that either. I need like an actual physical stick to manipulate the gimbal. So that was the whole point of getting that extension rod. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Best Buy and get a USB-C to USB-C. That way I could just have it connected wired and I could see everything and I could control the whole entire gimbal with the extension rod. So yeah, I'm about to head out and go do that. Hey guys, so we made it back home, got the extension rod. Um, I got the USB-C cable because like I said earlier, I don't have the wireless module for this. So I'd rather have myself connected via a wire anyway because when I used my buddy's gimbal a while ago when I first started using gimbals, I was using it wireless and it kept interfering and the connection kept dropping so that's why I decided to go wired so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing squared away and uh, get it all synchronized so the only thing I gotta do is wake up and leave and be at the show to film and yay alright guys this is a perfect setup for me I was able to take the stuff from my gimbal and attach it to the extension rod I had this little grip right here it was a dual mini grip and I just turned it into a sling grip. The sling grip fits, but it doesn't have this rubber on it, so I just use this instead. And the gimbal sits up here. You can see that, that's where the gimbal sits, and this is where the cell phone sits. And you connect this wire to the cell phone and to the gimbal, and that's it. This thing is extremely light. 
extremely light so i think i'm gonna deal with this because that other one was just too heavy guys that is going to be it i just wanted to give you all this quick little update as far as what's going on with the the car shows and whatnot getting accepted into Slam enough was a big deal for me so shout out to Slam enough for even giving me the opportunity to showcase the car um as you can see i'm all sweaty and whatnot i just got in the house so i'm gonna go ahead and hop in the shower i'm gonna upload this quick little update video so y'all can see that and i will see y'all in the next one deuces